Hey everybody, today we're going to look at uh, building a form. Uh, it's on your dashboard, make sure that it's been activated when you've actually built it out on the, uh, the building app side. Uh, what you need to do to come in uh, to populate the form is come into the admin uh, back office dashboard, select the form tab here, and hit add new. So I'm just going to call this form survey for this demonstration. Um, the submit button title basically is the title of the button that you're going to submitting the form you can call it anything you want submit done enter uh, let's just call it submit now you're able to pick uh, your background colors and your text colors here uh, you can leave them black and white for the demonstration uh, the emails uh, IDs you enter here are, are the people that are going to receive these forms when they have been submitted so let's just put um, tabs enabled, this is a, a box you check if you're going to have more than one page on your form. If you check that, then um, you'll see a list uh, of pages when you first click the form button. If you leave it unchecked, you've only got one page, it will go right into the form. So let's leave this unchecked for now. Uh, if you want to display your menu, check that button and hit uh, submit. Once you've done that, you come to this screen. Uh, now what you need to do is add the fields in the form. So let's hit the manage fields uh, tab here. Add new. Uh, let's call this, uh, this one name and give it a label of name. What we're going to do is give this uh, a single line text uh, for the functions. If you want to be required or not, check that box. If you have any preferred uh, predefined values, you can uh, put that here. And then these, this tab is the instructions for uh, the user. Uh, if you were to have multiple pages, you can decide what page you want this, uh, this field to go in. Submit, and then we've got a name tag here. Let's add another item here. We'll, we can check here. Let's put a, um, uh, an email address here. Uh, so let's go to uh, email. Email again. It's required. Instruction for the user. Email. Submit. Now we have an email for me. Email line. And again, add new. Let's Add a uh, phone number here. Phone number. More than one phone, you call cell phone. Everybody values instruction for the user. It's basically phone. Submit. Then the phone here. Add new. Let's add a. Let's add a location uh, thing. Here we can call it address. User, submit, we've got an address field there. Let's add a couple more things here. Let's add a, uh, a drop down a drop down list. Drop down, okay, multiple choice checkbox and drop downs are all the same thing. It gives the, uh, the user a different way to look at it. So multiple choice will give you bullet points. Uh, checkboxes will give you uh, squares that they can select. And drop down will give you a drop down list of, uh, of items they can select. So let's add a multiple choice here. Choice here. Options are, uh, let's say, bronze, silver, gold. Those are options. Uh, we'll call it font um, uh, preference. Got now our multiple choice uh, options. There. So we got new again. Let's select something else here. Uh, the drop down and the checkbox are done exactly the same way. Uh, number we've already added. Uh, let's add an image from the gallery. Uh, submit photo. Recording instructions for the user is another one. Let's add. Uh, I mean, you get the idea of all the other options we've got website, list, uh, website link, 
uh, when we're done tying the date and all the stuff. So let's just add the final thing, which is a signature line. All of these items have been added to this form, and uh, and that's it. Once you've uh, completed your form, uh, you can come back out here and you'll see all the uh, form uh, items we just entered in the fields, all the tabs right here. You can see what we just added. Uh, essentially, that's it. Once you've done this, it should be able you should be able to see this in the preview tool, uh, and you can test it, play with it, um, and that's essentially it. Thanks for watching.